It looks like you're leveling a witch. Let me help you with that. In this one, I'll go over the best skills and links I've found for leveling in the early game at League Start. At the end, we'll go over the best ascendancy points to pick up first for each class. Before we kill Hillock, we use Fireball and Arcane Surge. Well, because it's our only choice. Once he's down, we pick up Rolling Magma from Tarkley for the enemy of the gate quest, making our two link Rolling Magma and Arcane Surge. Don't forget to check for Runner's Boots and Blue 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 or Blue Blue Red items. Hopefully you can get the items in the form of Wands from Nessa. Once we kill Hailwake, it's time for an upgrade. Grab a Quicksilver Flask and Elemental Prolif from Nessa for the quest reward, and buy Holy Flame Totem and Summon Phantasm, and then get Flame Wall and Frost Blink as a quest reward from Targly for breaking some eggs. After swapping our gems around, our links are now as follows. Rolling Magma, linked to Elemental Prolif, Holy Flame Totem to Summon Phantasm, Frost Blink to Arcane Surge, well, and Flame Wall all by itself. Poor thing. Our next change is after getting to the lower prison and porting back to kill the Dweller of the Deep. Here we get Combustion as a quest reward and buy a second, linking one of them to Flame Totem and the other to Rolling Magma. Now head back to the prison and find and kill Brutus. After this one we buy Steel Skin and Clarity from Nessa, we'll use this as soon as possible. Then get Flame Dash from Tarkley, which we'll switch with Frost Blink once we get to level 10. For most packs we normally just use our Rolling Magma fired through a Flame Wall. For bosses, huge packs or rares, in addition, we deploy the Totem. After killing Fidelitas in the Chamber of Sins level 2, pick up Herald of Ash and summon Skitterbots. We want to be able to use these before we fight the Weaver. Once we kill the Weaver, grab Controlled Destruction and buy Elemental Focus for later use. Level these if you have spare blue slots. For our bandits, kill Crate and an Oak and help Alira for Mana Regen, All Res and Crit Multi. We can roll this off later if you don't use it. It is just too good to pass up for leveling. Everything now remains the same until we kill Piety in the Crematorium. At this point we'll get Flammability as a quest reward from Maramoa, we'll only use this on bosses and rares, or if you're like me we'll completely forget about it. When you visit the Cockroach Lady at the end of Solara's Temple in this act, we'll want to get the Strength Amulet so we can level our red gems. After killing Gravisius and Piety, again, buy Armageddon Brand from Clarissa. This will replace Rolling Magma, we also drop Ellie Prolif. Our links will now be Armageddon Brand, Combustion and Control Destruction. Pop back to Act 2 now and grab Brand Recall. We use this to instantly drop all of our brands on bosses' heads, increasing our damage substantially. We now don't make any other changes until we get a 4 link that is all blue. Preferably we'd get this before we won the normal lab. I tend to do this after getting a waypoint in the Crystal Vein in Act 4. Our 4 link is for the Armageddon brand, which is now linked to Combustion, Control Destruction and Ellie Focus. We can take the setup we have now all the way to maps if we need to. You can of course feel free to switch out to your endgame setup as soon as it feels good. Next up the Ascendancies, but first if you've enjoyed this video I'd like to invite you to click the like button, which will help this video spread to more people. For the Ascendancies we have three choices. Necromancer, which is for non-golem minion builds and explodey corpse stuff. Typically we would go Mindless Aggression for all out damage or Commander of Darkness for extra damage and the crazy 30% all res. Next we have the Elementalist, which is used mostly for golem builds, and so I'll suggest Liege of the Primordial first for the extra golem. In the unlikely event you're not using a golem, choose whatever fits your chosen build best. Last but by no means least we have a Cultist. First we can go for Void Beacon for the lower enemy Chaos and Cold Resist and lower regen for quick boss kills, or we can go for Profane Bloom for faster clear. That of course relies on us remembering to curse. This video will set you up well for which gems to use and their links, but it doesn't go into detail about levelling through the acts and the order in which you do each of the areas. For this you should check out the playlist top left, this will teach you to run each act optimally and allow you to skip all the areas that don't give you anything useful. And remember, to ensure you're levelling optimally don't forget to use the wand vendor recipes. And with that, thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.